All right, your caterpillars got huge. They ate all of the food in that cup and all they left for you was frass. They made tiny little silk pads right at the top of the cup. They attached themselves and they made their chrysalis. Now you're ready to move those chrysalis into your net cage. When you take your lid off, you'll see lots of webbing in there and we know that's healthy. So these butterflies are gonna be beautiful butterflies. They're all attached to your little attachment pad. Do you see the little black pieces hanging from those pupa? That's the last skin that that caterpillar shed before being in its chrysalis. Some people wonder if it's just their head, but it is actually their whole body. It's just the skin though. And they shed that right before you could see the chrysalis. If you look closely at this chrysalis, you can see some little brown spots on him. And those are his spiracles. Those spiracles are how he breathes while he's in the chrysalis. All right, so now you're ready to put your chrysalis in your net cage. You're gonna unzip it. I like to put a towel or a paper towel or something in the bottom because painted ladies are really messy when they come out of their chrysalis. You're gonna open up. You've got lots of good webbing in there so we know they're nice and healthy. You just gently peel all of that away they're attached really well up to the top. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna pin it with a straight pin into your net cage. So the last thing that I like to do, because we live in New Mexico and it's really dry, is I like to take a paper towel, I mean a plastic bag and I'm gonna put it over the whole cage. All right, so we're just gonna slide this plastic bag right over your net. We're gonna leave the front side uncovered. That gives them plenty of air circulation, but we've got a nice sopping wet paper towel. We're gonna put it in between the plastic and the netting. That helps raise the humidity inside there so it stays at around 60% and it helps so that you don't get butterflies with crumpled wings. And they need that humidity in order to get out of their chrysalis safely.